Good. All right. My opponent's taking my back. I'm now in possibly the worst position I can be in in a fight. Above everything else, I must remember to defend my neck. That's the biggest target that's open, and no matter how strong you are, you can't really resist the choke. So the number one thing, when you someone has your back, I'm gonna have my shoulder up and my chin tucked into my shoulder. So if he gets his arm across, he can chin crank me, but he cannot kill me. Second, I have my hands on his, two on one, pulling down. That's gonna be my first set of defense. Right in. So my opponent has back, I can have two on one. If I can't get that because of flexibility issues, I get on his hands and I'm pinning them down, I'm not squeezing. That's not gonna do anything. I'm not giving him a hug. I'm holding his hand down and away. So he tries to attack, even if he separates his hand and starts hand fighting, it gets me safe. So number one, you noticed when my opponent wanted to body triangle me and further throw in his grapevines, he dropped with his head towards the ground. Conversely, to escape, I want to fall with my head to the ground. That brings my body closer to the ground where I can begin to apply the shrimping and upa concepts. The first thing I'm going to do is clear the grapevine. Sometimes I can bring it in. If my opponent's sticky and he has good back control, look back, I can use my other foot to kick off and then slide my knee inside, coming off to the side. I'll stop for a second or so with my hips on his knee. So if he tries to move, it's hard. I come out, keeping now this arm in. And if he has a strong grip on me, I'm all right. Come out, come out, come out. As I keep driving, follow me to see the position. Which I do 